Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is clean up my green screen footage. So I'm going to take this video clip of me in front of the green screen. I'll use about 10 seconds there. I'm going to put it down here in my timeline. I'm going to go to backgrounds and I'm going to put it on just a green background for right now. So I'm going to put it on top of that green background, drag the green out so it matches the length of my clip, and I'm going to use the green screen effect on the top layer. So I change cut, I go to my layers panel, cut away, change it to green screen, blue screen. I'm going to want to crop it so I get rid of the, the wall and the desks and stuff like that. little white dots at the corners allow me to move the corners of my shot. I can use the eraser tool to erase these little highlights on the green screen. And I'm going to export that as a file. I'm going to create a new folder call this GS demo and I'm just going to call this number one. When it finishes exporting I see this pop up notifying me that the share was successful. Now I go to my media. I'm going to delete that top layer and I'm going to put in my second clip of me just sort of in a pose like I'm going to be levitating. Again, I'm going to clean up the green screen here, so I'm going to go to my layers panel, green screen, blue screen. I'm going to once again crop my footage so that I can get rid of the wall and everything that's around it. I'll use the eraser tool once again to erase the highlights. Hit the check, I'm done. Now I'm going to export this again as a file. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to call this one 2. Okay, that share is successful. So I'm going to close that notification. I'm going to take this out. I will open up my folder that has the GS demo. I'm going to put number one as the bottom, number two as the top. Instead of using the green screen feature here, I'm going to go to picture in picture because that allows me to place this footage wherever I would like. And for the before I do that though, I'm going to crop my bottom layer and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on myself because I don't need that much empty space and I'm going to now select this top layer use the picture in picture effect and try to get the placement just about right one of the things I like about the picture in picture effect is it allows me to add keyframes so right up here, I'm going to hit the diamond with the plus sign, add a keyframe right here. See, actually, I don't want myself to appear until right about there. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to fade in. So I just sort of appear as the hand opens. And then I'm going to add a keyframe. I might move myself up a little bit, add another keyframe, move myself over here, add another keyframe over here. When you move on in the timeline and then make an adjustment, it automatically will add a keyframe. 
And what iMovie does is it basically automates the process of animating it and going from one keyframe to another. So it just naturally slides the image from one spot to another in between those keyframes. Right about here is where I'm going to dissolve. Now I'm going to replace that bottom layer with green. Place it from the start. I'm going to export this. And I'm going to call this number three. I have to replace the bottom layer with green because iMovie cannot handle applying the picture-in-picture -picture with the green screen effect. I have to do one at a time, so I use picture-in-picture -picture to set up the keyframes and the movement. First with a placeholder image of what my background will be, then I export it put it in the screen. What I'm going to do now is just Command Z to undo to get that background layer back where it was cropped. And I'm going to put clip number three on top of that. And now I'm ready for a green screen, blue screen effect. Check. And let's see how this looks from the beginning. Open my hand, there I am, I'm levitating, blah, blah, blah. And that's how you get a composite with multiple layers in here. So now, once again, I'm ready to export the file. Call this one number four. And I can put in a background now and drag number four on top of that background and this one should be all ready to go then. And I can use the green screen effect to put myself in front of those curtains.